We hear about Jown and all of their successful shoe collaborations such as New Balance, A6, and Reebok, but I thought it would be a good idea to dive a little bit deeper into what Jown has to offer. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm Noe W. For those that don't know, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and also check out some of my other videos. But sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Let's get straight into it. Breaking this video down into a few different topics with an overall idea, and that is appealing to people's everyday needs. And within that overall idea, I want to hit on three different topics. Looking into who and what Jown is, what Jown has to offer, and their collaborations. So I want to start with talking about who and what Jown is about. Jown launched in 2006 as a digital mood board intended to examine the reoccurring patterns in timeless design. With thousands of curated images, the color-coordinated visual stream of consciousness has become a global misstay and reference for the design community. Jown has grown in the last decade into a collaborative design studio that aims to inspire through multiple channels, through fabric of items with purpose and longevity, through the design and construction of meaningful physical environments and through the continued curations of its digital platform. In addition to its own projects, Jown has worked in collaborations with numerous of established artists and brands to extend its strong design ethics. Located in Montreal, Canada, the design studio is operated by founder Justin R. Saunders. So after looking into or reading about what Jown is about, I want to touch on a few points that was said in their about section on their website. So what I just read. And with each point I touch on, it corresponds with what Jown has to offer and what the brand is all about. So it says Jown started as a mood board in 2006, intending to examine reoccurring patterns in timeless design and a design studio of continued curation of its digital platform. Mood boards kind of made its way into the social media platform about two years ago and when i say that i mean it became very popular about two years ago so you see a lot of people a lot of brands a lot of pages really take on the idea of posting random images to set off a certain mood a certain niche a certain aesthetic but john has had a 10 plus year head start in that idea of mood boards so from my understanding john is probably one of the only brands that already had this idea set already had the idea of expressing ideas expressing art expressing the mood on a certain page page or a certain platform. In the recent years, Jown has stepped into expanding its brand into an apparel line, offering different clothes, designs, creations, and things of that nature. So with that being said, their Instagram page now features a mixture of mood board pictures, so random pictures, along with what the brand is working on, projects they're working on, upcoming drops, and collabs they're featuring, and so much more. With these pictures come very, very high quality pictures and a great job of expressing different ideas, giving the audience a great idea of what they're working on so combined with the mood board pictures they show great images portraying the behind the scenes of the brand and like i said everything that they're pretty much working on and i feel like people enjoy looking into brands seeing what's upcoming seeing the behind the scenes stuff the work that's put into the clothes or whatever the brand is working on and i know me personally i love different pages or different brands that has a nice aesthetic or a nice niche or whatever the case may be giving off that certain idea or vision and also with a great visual idea Idea of showing off what they have to offer as far as what they're creating. So if the combination of mood board style of pictures and along with showing off what the brand has to offer, you get a brand like Jam. Since people seem to enjoy those type of things, you get the best of both worlds and a brand that's continuously talked about, brought up, and showed off on even different uh, platforms, different websites, different Instagram pages, and all different kinds of things like that, which allows for the brand to stay relevant. And also an important detail is obviously everybody knows consistent consistency is key so the brand does post pretty frequently which also helps a lot because they're always showing new ideas new expression of art design and creation which also helps the brand a lot looking back on what we read earlier i want to touch on the design of fabrication of purpose and longevity when looking at the apparel john has to offer it's pretty clear on a continuous pattern that this brand has little color a few graphics plain canvases few textures neutral colors crew necks t-shirts button downs slacks sweats there's two things you can pick up from those things i just listed minimalism and timeless when it comes to this style of fashion it can appeal to pretty much anyone of all styles and all ages and also having the ability to be worn for a lifetime and with the pieces that they have to offer all of these pieces can be worn on a day-to-day -day basis for different activities when it comes to the slacks the button downs you have those pants that can be worn for multiple times throughout the week along with the sweats that can be thrown on anytime as well if you just want to run to the grocery store or whatever the case may be pretty much every single garment they have follows the same idea 
idea of what the brand has to offer and staying true to the brand's origins and i feel like clothes like this still have that art element or that design that special design element with brands like this like jalen and other brands that offer minimalistic clothes i feel like they still pay attention to the way the clothes are made the materials that they use the finding inspiration behind different things whatever the case may be you still have that art element when designing clothes like this so when you combine the idea of expressing different clothes really showing off the details of certain pieces still expressing different art different ideas different creations through these garments but still staying true to the origins of minimalistic design and timeless pieces you get a great combination of two worlds once again of people wearing clothes that can be continuously worn throughout many weeks and for a lifetime and still appealing to the art or the idea of art being fashion fashion being art so once again just like the mood board and what they have to offer these two ideas appeal to people's daily needs you have the mood board which gives people inspiration different ideas different things to pass time just to scroll give people to enjoy something while they're just sitting around or whatever the case may be finding inspiration for their own brand or whatever and then you have the clothes that are minimalistic and timeless appeals to the longevity that the brand has to offer and the longevity can of course appeal to the mood board as well so you see those two things tying together staying true to the brand's origins and what the brand is about and diving deeper into having things that appeal to the day-to-day -day needs of people and the longevity of the brand they have different objects that they offer that really appeal to people's day-to-day -day need they have things like bedspreads calendars sketchbooks candles even have a sharpie and they even have different coffee beans really taking the idea of daily lifestyle to a whole nother level which is pretty cool and unique and something you don't see too much from many brands and with each item i'm pretty sure every item in their objects portion of the website you can go check out all of these things are collabs that they've done which means typically collabs are made with more details they're made more special there's a little bit more inspiration behind the pieces there's a little bit more effort put into the collab so you're definitely getting a well thought out item that has the purpose of design the purpose of creation the inspiration so once again you get the idea of art and design creation and you still get that day-to-day -day, daily lifestyle necessity things that you get from this brand really little things like this when it becomes more about fashion and just clothing and it really turns into the idea of art expression design creation definitely definitely as i'm learning more about this brand because i'm learning this stuff for the first time just like you for some of you guys if you didn't already know this so i definitely enjoy learning about things like this and enjoying sharing things like this as well just sharing different ideas of creation and design like this is really fun now going back to what we read earlier again down has grown in the last decade into a collaborative design studio that aims to inspire through multiple channels and also down has also worked in collaborations with numerous established artists and brands a focal point and i repeat a focal point of this brand is the collaborations of different shoe brands. When you take a step back and look at all the different collaborations they have done with shoe brands, you really see how successful and how well these collaborations have been. We've seen collabs with New Balance, Vans, Asics, Reebok, and even Puma. And when looking at all of these collaborations, you also begin to see a pattern and an idea of continuity throughout each collaboration. They're timeless, they're simple, they're minimal, and they also appeal to those earth tones colors first let's take a look at each silhouette they have done a collab with in each brand you have new balance a6 reebok vans and puma pretty much all timeless shoes that have been worn have been featured throughout many decades since they first been released new balance have been worn throughout each decade a6 are durable lifelong shoes meant for comfortability vans have been worn continuously throughout different eras not knowing too much about reebok i don't know how i feel about reebok i would say that's a timeless shoe as well even though reebok isn't popular uh, or trendy or hyped well none of these shoes are hyped shoes but Reebok you just don't hear about too much but I feel like you still get a good amount of people or a good group of people that still have worn Reebok religiously throughout many different decades since they've been released so like I said all of these shoes aren't hyped but they're timeless and meant to be worn continuously throughout many different decades and decades to come along with the timeless aspect each shoe still stays true to that minimal or neutral colors earth tone colors 
colors, really colors that can be used for the day-to-day -day lifestyle. Based on each colorway of the shoe, each shoe can be worn continuously with many different styles and many different days throughout the week. You have the minimalistic feel of the A6, you have the earth tone colors used on the Vans and the New Balance, and even on the 990 version 3 of New Balance, you have that all black that really does attribute to that minimalistic idea. You have the Reebok in the all white and the Puma in that tan colorway. And with every shoe, you have the idea of it being worn continuously and you still have that very, very nice stylish aspect for each shoe that can be styled up very, very nice with each of their shoe in my opinion. Which is crazy to me to think about. Each project Jalen has done, they really stay true to the overall idea of this brand, really appealing to the needs of a daily lifestyle. Also, do want to say for New Balance, I feel like the New Balance, the first project they did was released in 2020 and they did feature that uh, those earth tone colors on the 992s, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Right around the same time, people really got into earth tone colors, wearing different earth tone colors. So I feel like those two things lining up did help Jalen a lot back in 2020, which is just another point that I feel like helped Jalen a lot. So with that being said, Jalen has really pushed to really appeal that daily lifestyle of many different aspects through the mood board, through what they have to offer, through their clothes, through the different objects they have that can enhance a person's life with the coffee beans, the coffee mugs, cups, candles, calendars, all of that. And even being a collaboration based brand, really putting their name on different popular shoe brands such as A6, New Balance, Reebok, Puma. You can see why Jalen has been continuously been talked about for many, many years, been brought up, has been seen on many different brands, different labels, different pages, uh, collaborations. So you can see why Jalen has made its way up the rankings throughout the years and why it has been so successful. So that will pretty much do for this video. Let me know how you feel about the brand down overall let me know if, if i missed anything if you don't agree with anything uh with what i said most of the things i said uh, i came up with the idea myself or i put the uh what i said together as far as the script came up with the script and the over idea of the brand myself but i also used what jound is about their origins uh as the inspiration of what I was expressing so let me know if you agree with what I'm saying or if you don't agree let me know how you feel about Jown if you are into Jown you like the brand Jown or you've had any Jown uh, products whatever the case may be let me know down in the comments but that will pretty much do for this video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it but that will pretty much do for this video I'm out